Nigeria, both political appointees and public servants, have been accused of diverting government funds. Recently, there were allegations of corruption at the Ministry of Humanitarian Affairs, where billions of naira were said to be misappropriated. Hardly will you see anyone jailed for these corruption allegations, but rather the issues will be swept under the carpet. To improve governance, fight corruption is the reason these retired federal permanent secretaries and heads of the civil service of the Federation are at this conference. We are very, very sad about the perception of the civil service. We are very, very sad about the talks on corruption, inefficiency, incompetence and so on and so forth. So it is in our mind to be bold enough to tell us the truth that we should for the purpose of the survival of this great country, uh, retrace our steps. Experts say the nation is worse off as corruption and leakages in government have become terrible. From IPs, due process in public procurement, EFCC, fiscal responsibility, and the three-layered examination and screening processes in the appointment of permanent secretaries. Yet, we are worse off now as a nation, as the corruption and leakages have been horrendous because of crisis of integrity at several levels of leadership. I, as I have said in many, I mean many times, the art of budget manipulation for personal gains has now become a coveted expertise that political office holders headhunt in getting accounting officers deployed to their MDAs. And arising therefrom, hitherto honest officers in their increasing numbers are yielding to the temptation of Johnny the bad wagon. The former secretary to the state government highlighted some areas that need to be addressed to make the country better. The quality of those who man the public service now, uh, it has been for quite some time, but is progressively degenerating. And it, let's put it that it could be better. As the current adoption of the oral science report continues to draw reactions, experts say the cutting down of governance is the way to go. However, calls for a regular review of the report. Most Nigerians, public officers, private people, politicians, think we have an inexhaustible supply of money and resources. Every day they are suggesting in the National Assembly the creation of many more institutions. Some time ago I was in the National Assembly to attend the public hearing and someone came from the National Assembly and made a motion that 37 new university-type institutions will be created by the federal government. And that motion was passed. Thank you. At a time when the government was borrowing money to pay salaries. Where would the money come from? But nobody thinks about that. They think this is Gawan's time when we have plenty of money. It has not occurred to us that we are in a crunch. Recommendations from this conference will be sent to the federal government for an upward review. Punarman Benjamin, Arise News.